David Brewster here with a new episode of 3 for All. This is 3 Dan Huff Licks from 2013, and I've had some requests to feature more of Dan's music, and if you search on my channel, you'll find a 3 for All from a few years ago surrounding some of his ideas. Also the chords of a Giant Chordplay episode. And I've been a Dan Huff and Giant fan since I was in high school, and I remember when Last of the Runaways, you know, hit, I think I bought it on cassette. And they appeared on TV a lot back then, like late night talk shows, you know, performing. And I remember recording some of those performances and re-watching them endlessly. And definitely Dan Huff is a badass guitarist, producer, and legend of the record industry. So just a reminder, but in the late 70s, throughout the 80s, and also into the 90s, there were three guys in L.A. that were just basically, you know, just killing it in the L.A. studio circuit and session work. Steve Lukather, Dan Huff, and Mike Landau. And I featured all three of these guitarists here on my channel. Definitely, you know, a trio of just powerhouse studio and session masters. And for anyone watching that's not really sure who Dan Huff is, you know, aside from his work with the band Giant, he also played with the band Whiteheart. That was technically before Giant. And then just hundreds of sessions. And this image I'm getting ready to share are some of the sessions that Dan worked on. Keep in mind, this is really just the pop and rock. And I really didn't dive into some of the country stuff. He's been a country music legend and producer for decades now. But here's some of Dan Huff's notable, you know, people that he's worked with in his career. So the licks in this episode came from a live performance in 2013, and I believe it was a little Walter like amp presentation. And Dan, you know, got up and played. And I don't think, you know, this wasn't his band or anything. It was just kind of an impromptu, you know, cover of Jeff Beck's Because We Ended Up As Lovers, which, of course, that's a Stevie Wonder tune. But it was really interesting to watch Dan play a Jeff Beck signature song and kind of add some of his own ideas. So the licks from this lesson came from that performance. And here we go. All right, the first lick's basically using these ghost slides, or at least that's what I'm calling it, because you're really only picking the first two notes and then the last two notes, and everything else is either a slur or a slide or a bar dip, like this. One more time. So it definitely takes a lot of control to be able to play this correctly because we're only picking, you know, like I said, the first two and the last two notes. And then everything else is basically slurred for the most part. And we're grabbing, you know, keep in mind this episode's basically revolving around the key of C. And we're basically grabbing this uh, G to that B flat. And then you're going to basically dip your bar and then shift slide from C to D on the G string like that. <laughs> So you're really only picking the G note and that B flat, and then that C is not picked. It's the bar dip that kind of sounds that note, like that. And then after you do that slide from C to D, you're going to do another bar dip and shift slide D to E flat, and then do another bar dip E flat to F, like that, without picking, like this. And that's really weird. It's kind of hard to do if you're not used to doing that. That's why I'm calling it ghost slides, because you're not picking, but you're still hearing those notes, you know, ascend. Like that. And then when you get to that F note, you're going to basically bend that to G. And you're going to release that bend, go back to that E flat, and then pick that C note right there on the D string twice. And I just cheated because I picked that first uh, note with the bend, but like this. And that's deceptively hard to do. It's clean, like you're not hearing any weird, you know, finger noises and stuff like that, or the shifting. And you're not picking those notes, so that's really interesting. And really expressive, too. Cool lick. Next up, we've got a melodic slip and slide lick, and we're still manipulating the bar, too. Something like this. You know, really tasty phrase. So right there, keep in mind we're still in C, and we're basically moving from C to D, and then you're going to shift slide and bar dip. You know, that D to E flat right there. Like that. And then you're going to basically shift slide this A flat to B flat, and you're also kind of wiggling the bar 
like that. And then you're going to come down like that. And then so grab that C, bend it a whole step to D, and then. tasty phrase and I love that swirly almost like a horse neigh you know kind of sound with the bar right there definitely a little bit of Jeff Beck um, but definitely Dan Huff you know sneaking in something like that Next up we've got a chromatic bass speed lick, something like this. One more time. So we're still in C, and think of the C minor pentatonic box right there. And Dan's basically doing this fill in the blank kind of chromatic move on the B and the G string, like this. And you're just coming down like that. And it's kind of crammed in there. And then you start doing this kind of bluesy, uh, like almost Hendrixy kind of manipulated bending here. So it's really just three notes, but it's the way you're manipulating and bending those notes that really kind of makes it interesting, like that. And that last note's very aggressively, you know, picked and adding, you know, vibrato. Think Hendrix on that last note. Like that. And I definitely like chromatic ideas, you know, even when you're just kind of basing it around pentatonic licks, but uh, very cool. Okay, here's a bonus lick from this footage, and it's yet another melodic slip and slide phrase. But notice the way Dan is slipping and sliding around the fretboard, like this. One more time. This kind of reminds me of a Steve Lukather lick. Check out the Boss Gag song, Break Down Dead Ahead, and you'll hear a variation of this idea. And he's basically grabbing this D note and does a bar dip, like that. And then he's going to do another bar dip on that D, and then you want to hammer on to E flat, like this. Like that. And then this is where the slip and slide action takes place. So it's all on the G string, and you're basically sliding from nowhere. I am kind of basing my slide somewhere around that G note on the 12th fret, you know, somewhere around there. But it is a slide from nowhere into that D note on the G. Like that. And then do the same thing into C. And then the same thing into B flat. And then just end on C. And you want to exaggerate those slides. Try to exaggerate it as much as you can. And that's a challenging lick. It's deceptive. You know, it seems easy. It's like, oh, I'm just sliding around. But that is really demanding, especially to do it cleanly, like like Dan. to it too is picking right before you do that slide that way you hear a little bit of where you're sliding from and that's really tricky like I said all right that's gonna wrap this episode of three for all with three Dan Huff licks from 2013 definitely a dynamite guitarist and like I mentioned at the beginning I've been a Dan Huff and giant fan since I was you know in high school and then I went and checked out you know white heart and started checking out some of his session work and uh, you know noticing where I could find you know Dan Huff and there's a lot you know a lot more than I shared in that image earlier too so if you start digging around in Dan's music not to mention the other two players Steve Lukather and Mike Landau it's really impressive to see all of the musicians and groups and songs that they basically helped record in the late 70s, all through the 80s and 90s and beyond. So anyway, leave some feedback and comments. Please subscribe to my lessons, and I'll be back before you know it with more content and material. Thank you.